Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Victor, Director of Business Development for Education and Training. Welcome to our Education Solution webinar. With the current travel restriction, we will conduct more of such webinars. And if you have colleagues that you think will benefit from this, feel free to contact us and we will make special arrangements to organize a session for them. Today, we will give you a better understanding of our solution that will help you upgrade your welding training program. Before we get started, if you have any questions to ask, feel free to let us know through the Q&A box. It will be anonymous and our team can help you with your questions. After numerous meetings with governments and schools in the region, we were able to identify four challenges that are commonly faced by welding training schools here in, in, in the region. These challenges are in the areas of curriculum, certification, instructors, and technology. The LEAPS program is meant to address these challenges and help you to revamp your curriculum, bring additional validation to your certification, upskill your instructors, and upgrade your technology platform to meet industry requirements. Let's go in a little deeper on how the LEAPS program can address these four challenges. The first subject we'll talk about is on the curriculum. Lincoln Electric has developed a welding training program that is aligned with AWS and refined it to an e-learning platform. The, the curriculum provides us up-to-date contents with interactive materials, including presentations and videos that the students can use to learn more effectively. Thanks to the flexibility of an e-learning platform, both instructors and students can use it from anywhere at any time, be it at home or out of class hours, as long as they can connect to the internet from a device. This is similar to what schools and organizations are implementing now due to the current pandemic. Our curriculum provides lesson plans for instructors so they can spend more time on the delivery of the lessons and monitoring the progress of their students. The learning management system provides real-time progress of each student, making it easier for instructors to monitor and track their performance. Instructors are able to organize lesson plans for individual students or groups of students according to their learning ability and progress. Students are able to assess the system 24 seven, giving them the ability to complete their assignments at their own pace. Multiple choice quizzes and videos are integrated into presentations to keep students engaged and help them improve their learning experience. Instant feedback on test results are shown to the students to give them a better understanding and they can learn faster. Many schools realize the importance of internationally recognized certification. The LEAPS program will pave the way for schools to obtain the certification for their students. The program is designed to assist schools in meeting international standards, leading them to be internationally recognized. Having a recognized certification offers credibility to both the education facility and the student entering the industry. For this program, Lincoln has partnered with a third-party certification organization 
organization named NC3. Lincoln is not the only one. You can see the other global companies that are also using NC3 for their certification. NC3 is an organization that develops training programs that will certify instructors and students to meet international standards. This program with NC3 will help upskill your instructors. NC3 has developed the Train the Trainer program to certify instructors to meet the required standards to train students. Schools will then have certified instructors that will provide standard curriculum delivery and assessments for all students. Welding technology has changed dramatically over the past couple of decades, and many new technologies have been introduced to the industry within the last few years. Industries tend to adopt these new technologies to their project's requirements. By using updated technology in schools, we can reduce the gap between a student learns and what is used by the industry. This will bring them to a higher standard when they enter the industry. Lincoln offers a one-stop shop to schools from basic arc welding and cutting machines to robotics, complete with a curriculum for instructors. There are many benefits to using virtual trainers. As a student, it can accelerate their learning while keeping them engaged. For a school, it can save them in training costs and training times. I'll now have my colleague take over and give you a demonstration on our virtual trainer. A very good afternoon. I'm Gijs Branches. I'm the Advanced Solution Center Manager here in Singapore. Today, I'll be showing you uh, one of our most exciting products in, in our uh, education range, the VR Text 360 Plus. So the 3R 60 Plus, we have a power source, and with this power source, we are able to train uh, two welders at the same time. Um, what we see further at the moment, we'll move to one welding station, is we have coupons. And we have different types of coupons. So at the moment, you want to do a fillet weld, you can do a fillet weld in the 2F position. Let's say you have, you have a lab weld, you want to practice a lab weld, also for that, we have a coupon available as well. What we can do too is at the moment we say, hey, we want to have that lab weld done in 3G, we can move it into 3G. Also for pipe and, and smaller uh, um, coupons, with a fillet weld, also on pipe, we have a coupon available for that as well. So with that, we are able to come close to around 200 drift different welds which we can simulate on our VR Text 360. The arm has a magnetic sensor inside the arm. This arm can be moved up and down to make sure that the welder can find his right position like you would in real life as well. Welding process wise, we have SMW available. SMW where we have a welding electrode which retracts, which is one of our very exciting features, often not found with all our competitors. Um, this is one of the key things with SMW that you compensate of course for it. What we have as well, it's a GTA W torch, and with the GTA W torch, what we're also able to simulate is adding the wire. Also for that, we have a tool available. Also what we have available is a GMA W torch and a flush core torch. So also that welding process comes included with the VRTEX 360 plus. 
then when we look over what kind of training programs we, uh, we, we offer, we always speak basically about two welding training modes. The first one will be lesson mode. So the lesson mode is really specifically set up for somebody who never welded before, who comes off the street and has to get to know what kind of safety features need to be aware of, what is a double PS, how do I work with a double PS, but also questions like from, okay, what kind of welding process am I working with and how does that welding process work in theory? Those are really step by step program you're going through there. So right now I set up on, on this station the, well, uh, the, the lesson mode, the moment I press go, I go to my safety briefing in this case. And of course with welding, I always wanna make sure I, I wear my safety uh, gloves. I wanna wear my safety goggles. I wear my safety gear protection, my jacket that I don't get burned my welding helmet, and should I press now weld, I get basically a, a message saying that I haven't completed my safety exercise yet. Because as always with welding, we do generate a lot of smoke. So we wanna deal with that by using fume extraction, of course. So at the moment I say now, fume extraction is over the weld pool. I press weld. And I got this exercise successfully completed. So with the lesson mode, instead of having a very passive way of uh, instructing a, a welder, you suddenly get a much more interactive program going, whereby A, the welder will be much more engaged with the VR Tech 360 Plus, and therefore starts to learn a lot quicker. The other mode we have in the VRTX 360 Plus is the free weld mode, which I'm gonna to demonstrate to you now. So the free weld mode is more or less designed for welders who already are familiar with all the welding processes, with all the safety requirements and the OPSs. But let's say they only have used stick before and now they're moving on to uh, GMAL uh, process and they need to get to know all the ins and outs of that particular uh, welding process. So what we see here is, is on the starting screen and also is actually projected here on the back because at that moment it allows you to work in a bigger class setting as well so people can really learn from each other and therefore again accelerate the speed of how quick you learn a certain process. So what you see here is the gas flow, yeah? So each VR Tech 360 Plus comes with a double PS book. In a double PS book is, is, is all the 200 different welding modes, which are uh, or double PSs, are included in here. So as a typical welder, of course, I need to read my double PS before I start welding. So in this case, I need to set around 35. It says here as well, I need to use 90, 10 gas. And I say continue. And then in this case, the uh, wire speed is around 375 inch per minute. So dial that in. My voltage is around 26.5. Around there. And normally, of course, we're welding DC plus. But let's say by accident, I misread the double VS and I put DC minus on there. So now the system says, okay, you're ready to weld, let's weld. But because I'm using DC minus, where of course my double VS at DC plus, it says incorrect setting. So I have to go back and I have to correct that. So this makes sure that we start instilling good habits into a welder, emphasizing constantly those good habits, read the double PS, before you start welding. So I press continue again, and now we're ready to weld. So we start now with the view, the first person view in the goggles. So at the moment I would put these goggles, these VR goggles on, I would see what you're seeing currently on the screen. 
We also have actually a third person view available. So at that moment, as an instructor, I get a pretty good impression of what's, what's going on here. What I have available as well is a demo mode. So let's say again, I'm this new welder who came off from stick and I'm going to move to Gmail. I first want to know, hey, what kind of position will I use? How should I use it? Push drag, weave, all those things. So here we see in demo mode how I can use my torch. You can see in this case, I need to lose a little bit of a push angle. I get a good feel for my travel speed as well. And also get a bit of a feel, a feel of my contact to work distance. Okay, so I learned a little bit now. Now, I've done some training as a welder now, yeah, and I've become pretty proficient at it. The only thing which I'm currently I'm not doing very well, according to my instructor, is some contact to work distance. So what we have developed inside this VR360 Plus are all kinds of uh, visual cues. So one of the visual cues I can put on is contact to work distance. So at the moment it's on and I grab my Gmail torch and I bring it closer to my workpiece. You can see here very nicely that now my contact to work distance is too short. At the moment I move it back as correct and at the moment I move it along again it becomes red. So I have a good way of getting a bit of an impression how I should use it. So with that, I'm in a position where I can make a weld. During welding, you will see for the second part on purpose, I'll make my contact tip to work distance a bit longer. And please observe at that moment how the system reacts to that as well. I put my goggles on. I grab my torch. There we have it. I try. Zero. Well, what you can clearly hear is the sound drifts at the moment. I changed my contact to work distance too long. I certainly get a lot of sound, yeah, just like in real life, a lot of battery sound. But also visually, when we're looking at the welding bath already, we see that there are a lot of changes actually going on. So that's a visual clue. At the moment, I press now. And <laughs> And I go to my score screen. You can see I achieved an overall score of 83. But what we also clearly can see in this case is that we are, my contact dip, work, contact dip to work distance was overall within a certain range until I moved it all the way, way too long and then I started compensating for it again. What we also can see in this screen very nicely is because I started making my contact tip to work distance way too long, I started introducing all kinds of defects. Should I have done this weld alone and the instructor comes by and wants to walk through again to the weld pass, which I made just now as a welder, I can again call up the recorded view and I can say, let's have a look what happened there. As and together with an instructor, we can evaluate where we can make some improvement. So overall, a um, very useful feature as well to again 
improve the speed of getting to know the ins and outs of the welding process with the VRTEX 360. Should the student come to the end of the day with the VRTEX 360, and let's say he needs to save his progress, we have here several USB sticks here, uh, ports available, where the welder, the student, can log his progress, and the next day, even on a different machine, he, he, he plugs in the USB stick and loads his progress. So what is very clear with this VRTEX 360 yeah, is we can learn a lot faster with a student because it becomes much more interactive. Also, we are actually able, by using the group knowledge, to again increase the speed of, of the student over there. We save a lot of material yeah, because you can see with the press of the button, we have a new coupon available for you with no additional money involved. And lastly, this process will be a lot safer for students as well. So overall, a fantastic solution which is going to save you a lot of money and at the same time increase the speed to train a welder. And with that, I thank you very much for your uh, attention and I would like to hand over back to Victor again. All right, thank you, Heis. Actually, by combining the use of e-learning and VR trainers on top of standard instructor-led classes and practical welding, we get what is called blended world learning. Blended learning integrates traditional education methods with digital or online methods to make learning more efficient and effective. We have organized seminars in the region and have cooperated with TVET representatives to launch this program. Being a global partner with World Skills International, we have participated in skills competition globally and regionally. Governments in the region realize the importance of having skilled labor to build their infrastructure. This is an example of uh, how we cooperate with the region. MOU signing ceremony in Vietnam to design and build a center of excellence as a model for other welding schools to replicate. And this is another one, MOU signing ceremony to implement LIPS program at TESDA and Philippine states and universities and colleges. So what are your next steps to change your welding training program? Now we will look at the Q&A that some of you might have already submitted. It's also not too late for you to send in your questions right now. Just type in the Q&A. The panelists joining me here to answer your questions are Scott, William and Heiss. After this webinar, we'll send you an email and we will be grateful if you could take the time to give us any feedback. If you are interested and want to know more, do let us know through the feedback form as well. From there, we can have our team contact you. So, thank you so much for your time. Stay safe and healthy. <laughs>